June 30th, an immigrant struggle and drown by Alondra Frostbaker. June 30th was born in, in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. At the age of five, he moved to New Jersey to be with his wife. The drown was published in 1996 and is made up of a few stories. Most of Joan Todia's work is based on the immigrant experience he went through. Unlike many other immigrants that let the struggle affect them in a negative way, Joan Todia embraced these experiences and reincorporated them into his work. Drown is about an unnamed character who struggles living in the United States as an immigrant. It must be this being an immigrant himself. He has combined his personal experience with his story to create a plot, setting, and characters that can symbolize the struggle of an immigrant's life in the United States. Peer pressures and immigrant space. Family expectations, peer pressure, social pressure. Immigrant children are often faced with family expectations. Their parents are expect, expect them to be grateful of the new opportunities given to them by coming to the United States. They are expected to be integrated into the culture and language as soon as possible to fit in. Due to these pressures, many alleged drugs, crime, and sex are both having trouble maintaining relationships. They either do drugs, or they sell them, or even both. When you draw on the main character who is unnamed sells the drugs, he also shoplifts. The outcome of the pressures is like a coin. There are two sides to the coin, two different outcomes. Beto, another character in Drown, is proof of that. Instead of being pressured into following the same footsteps as the unnamed character, he instead goes off to college to make, him, to make something of himself. And we can see that on page 2851, the line, they pause when seemingly recognizing the guy who sells in their doll. The unnamed character just does drugs. He doesn't do them. He just sells them. Why immigrants come to the United States? Many have the misconception of the American dream, which consists of a set of ideals democracy, rights, liberty, opportunity, and equality, which encourage them to come here. They think that they will find prosperity and success in building their families and in having kids and giving them better opportunities for the kids, which isn't always the case. Another issue that, that is the reason why they come to the, why immigrants come to the United States is issues in their native country, like severe crime, drugs, gangs, death, and they think that by coming to the United States, they will have a better life along with their family. Left behind. Some of the things they do left behind are their home, homeland memories and family. Um, in Drown, the mother of the unnamed character states that they can't afford to leave this in the call. This reinforces the idea that many can't even contact their family members. Um, once immigrants sit back and think of the consequences of migrating to the United States, they begin to feel a little depressed. Because they will their fundamental structure. They leave behind family members, memories, and culture, and, and language, things they've been living in since childhood. Um, many don't ever return to their homeland because they've made families in the United States who can't risk going back to their homeland and never being able to come back. The reality. The reality is that many of the immigrants don't earn that much money. Many get jobs with long hours and barely enough wages. Some of these jobs are wash dishes, washing dishes, labor in agriculture, housekeepers, janitors. Another thing that they are faced with is racism and discrimination. With the racism, some immigrants once they are situated, they begin to form families, and this means that the kids they they have will become American born, and they face struggles as well. The immigrants face the struggle because they can't help their family, their children, with their homework or with any of the struggles they go through because they don't quite understand. Those who the American 
born from immigrant parents don't aren't really accepted by either our culture and have to struggle to which they stand by, which one are they going to be. Not only that, but the struggle of learning their parents' native tongue, but also learning English is quite difficult. Um, many look down on immigrants and make their opinions be known. So that's for me some reason. Another thing is that sometimes when one parent migrates first to test out the opportunities in a foreign language from a foreign country, usually families split up. The migrating parent then abandons the rest of the family to form another, which can be seen when it says, She's talking to my father. He swears he'll leave the woman he's living with. Many, many families come here and they split up and only to end up making new ones. Conclusion, the United States is known for the vast majority of immigrants that make up the country. Some of the changes deal with the cultural barriers and psychological issues they face. Diaz published the collection Drow in 1986, in which he brings all these issues together to give us his story and, and understand the immigrants' experience. Here's my work site.